Hello everyone, in today's chess video, we'll be talking about some most common mistakes the chess player make. So this is an all-round chess improvement guide. These are the most common mistakes I have seen in players of intermediate level or above. So before we get into the video, please give this study a like and share with others. So first of all, the number one mistake I think most people make is castling automatically. So I have put the scenario in, uh, on the, my chessboard. So as you can see in the previous move, this, the both the players went for the some uh, London opening. Some English they went for the English opening, and then it, in the second sixth move, uh, let's just say why White went for the castle, and what should the black play? What should the White play? So here White can just simply in the next move go for the castle. But this will be a mistake because I don't think this makes a good approach. Although this is a good approach because you don't get some trap. But so here I think so why should not blindly castle kingside or else it's a it misses a huge opportunity. So here I think uh, g4 will be is the excellent move instead of just castling. So g4, uh, which takes advantage of black's early h6. So which acts as a hook for white to break open the g5. White now has rook to g1 at this disposal since castle was delayed. So white can, black can simply get, play in the next move. Let's just say play d6. So a likely response. Uh, I'll give some example of what can happen after d6. So instead of just d6 white just played uh knight to d4 knight to d4 either and this move does all the work this move uh pawn to g5 opens the g file and helps so white black captures and then uh, black white recaptures with the knight so this is how you open the G file with the castling. So instead of just castling, go and look for some easy, easy move and some forcing moves. So this takes us to the second part. And the next part, I think the most people make mistake is. So people make automatic moves like a robot. So let's get to the let's add some scenario on the board so let's just say so this mistake is one i have seen over and over in openings like infamous london system so players will open with the opening moves automatically regardless of the opponent's move this can lead to danger in forms of getting an inferior position or just missing opportunity so let's just say both the players open the game with a d4 d5 uh, bishop to f4, c6, knight to c6, e3, and bishop to c5. So here, black just plays the move knight to f3. So what does knight to f3 does? So knight to f3 does not do anything because it's not a forcing move, but you are developing your pieces. Either I think at this stage you could have just, instead of just this knight, after black should have made the move knight to c4 so in my opinion this is the best way to deal with an early knight to six six attack so the knight does not so the knight does not help stabilize the d5 pawn so white logically switches gears and plays queen gamble stack with a knight to f6 Knight to c3 and e6. So an improved version of the queen's game will decline with the passive knight on. So the game goes on. And now you can both the player just simply and develop their pieces. So this was the our a uh, second part which is people make and uh, moves which they remember. So instead of just trying something new and learning, 
they go as they have learned and they tr- don't try to elaborate so the next point i think is important is the mistake number three is so our third point is when people don't punish their opponent so pushing so let's head towards the this video and now i'm going to add some snack so i have added a scenario on the board and the game went for the london system and a common beginners opening mistake this cannot be go unpunished so in the second move white plays d3 so instead of d3 because d3 uh does nothing because the next move black can just simply uh move with knight to b4 and which can some attack and destroy the whole structure so instead of d3 you just go for c3 so now now the knight cannot attack in getting this square and the both squares are protected so now black plays a normal game with knight g7 d4 and so the rule of thumb if black ever plays f6 in the e4 e5 lines must play t4 a step to open up the center thus exposing black's weak f6 move in daylight so whenever i think you are playing chess number one you should always look for better moves and some forcing move and punish your opponent as much as possible so the number fourth and most important part is uh when people try to move their uh it's just most it's a mistake number for where people uh just try to move their pawns blindly and without just much of the focus so in this game i have added this game so now so white has to play and at this stage white plays a move f4 so this move black has just, white has just simply destroyed its own pawn structure because now a black can take this pawn with the own pawn and if it does not take then this so black just takes with the own pawn and just attack and some open up uh, this whole square uh this whole whole line so instead of just playing f4 i think knight to so knight to e2 was a could have been the good move because the e square is inevitably black's territory so don't bother preventing knight to e4 by black instead focus on your own adva- advantages the f4 square as out out was for the knight just say knight to f let's just say in the next move black moves knight to e4 and you just simply make knight to e f2 so white isn't better but at least it is a competitive middle game so if black tries to grab your pieces then you can grab those back so instead of just playing in the 13th move knight to e4 white could have just so what if well, black had white had just made a move and black could have captured g g takes f3 so that the correct way to punish white f4 is queen takes f3 and knight to e4 now the monster knight on e4 is on well supported outpost so always think uh, before you uh, make a move with the pawn so pawns are important pieces of checks which you should always look after and take care and use use them as properly as possible so i have another highlighted another point and i have added the scenario on the board and the fifth part i think most important is not having a long term plan so people rush into the game and try to get out and make some moves random as possible so having a long term plan is i think most important in the chess so this game is the board uh, going on the board is on the 10th hole where so the game started out as a standard kings indian defense normally white should aim to expand on the queen side and 
black on the king side. So now uh, is the perfect time to think of what the long term plan is. So black has a backwards G uh, d6 pawn. So trying to pile up on this would be nice. So 11th move. What if bishop to b2 was played? So it's a, such a normal development move to defend the knight, but this is the inconsistent with any long term plan. So most definitely not contributing to attack on the d6. So the bishop should be placed on a3. Just so he should have moved the bishop to a3. So bishop to a3 could have been a good move. And then the normal game would have been played. So hitting the queen, uh, but the knight is not as on an outpost, so the strong square is only temporary. Once black successfully kicks the knight back at s6, white can be forced to retrieve. So the 13th move can be. So what if black tries to attack your knight? So what if you play bishop to c4, trying to move your knight up and it's already protecting, but this is a mistake. It's, so you should know that you should be aware of what's coming up next. a6, so now after, what if white plays the a6, so now after knight retreat, the b4 pawn falls and white has little to no plan on the queen side. Black, meanwhile, has a nice knight on f4 and enough for a clean board. So, these were my top 10 picks of a most basic uh, chess mistake that players make. So, I'll be adding some more of these, but for now, let's go for the 5 most basic chess mistakes the chess players make. So, this was all for today, and I hope to see you in the next video, and please... Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.